Chairman, and uh, thank you um, for your testimony today and for the work the FAA does on behalf of the uh, American people, including people in my district in Indiana. Uh, there has been a threat because of the sequester. The FAA will have to furlough the majority of their 47,000 employees, putting our nation's air traffic and airport safety at risk. But I personally find this hard to believe since FAA funding has increased 41 percent since 2002, despite the fact that domestic flights are actually down by 27 percent in that same time frame. In my state in Indiana over the past eight years, we have streamlined and made more effective state government. We have went from being $700 million in debt to a $2 billion surplus. In fact, instead of tax increases, we have given every taxpayer an automatic refund. When it comes to state, the number of state employees, we have the same number of employees in Indiana that work for the state that we had in the late 1970s. And universally, it is believed in my state that services from the state government have dramatically improved. With fewer employees, our government has worked better for every citizen in the state. I would also like to say that was done through attrition and retirements. No one was furloughed. No one was laid off. This is, a, this is making government more effective and efficient. With that said, I would like uh, my question, uh, can you remind us again what your annual budget is? Our annual budget is about $16 billion. $16 billion. And what is your share of the sequester cuts that the FAA will have out of your $16 billion budget? $627 million. $627 million, okay. Um, if the sequester were half that size, would that make a difference? Yes, if the sequester were, were a smaller number, yes, as, it would have. As some people out there are proposing to increase taxes to cover half of it and then still have some cuts, um, you wouldn't have to furlough anybody if you had only $300 million in cuts versus $600 million? We are focused on, very broadly, on what we can do with contracts and what are our pay and benefits cuts. Right now, our planning is at the $627 million level. We haven't seen any um, alternative to that. Okay. And uh, the next gen program, I guess there are three, three programs related to implementation and developing this modernization program. Uh, and uh, do you have any idea what approximately the cost overruns are the, on those so far? Uh, our ADSB program um, is within its baseline budget. You may be referring to the Enroute Modernization Program that we rebaselined a couple of years ago, and it is operating within its new baseline. Because what I have, my, the data I have shows that of the three key modernization programs, cost overruns have a combined total of about four billion dollars. And so my question is: is where where does that four billion dollars come from if we have this? much cost overrun trying to modernize the FAA. Where, where, where does that come from? And I mean, you, just for everyone, $4 billion versus $600 million in, in cuts to the FAA, where, where does that money come from? Where, where are you getting that money to continue to have inefficiencies in the way that we spend the taxpayer dollar at the FAA? I just, I'm, I just find it hard to believe that, that you know, if, you, if it's if we can spend more than $4 billion over what it is supposed to cost, uh, that we can't find $600 million in savings in a $16 billion annual budget. Do you have any idea where that money comes from? I am not aware of which programs you are talking about nor the period of time that you are talking about. But um, as we have come before Congress for our annual appropriations, we have explained uh, where we are in each of those programs, and Congress has been supportive of them. So what you are saying is each time we give you more money? Con every year we come before Congress with our program plan for the year, and Congress has been supportive of it. Okay. So if we give you, so we are giving you more money on top of what we normally would appropriate to cover that cost overrun. That is what you are saying? Again, I don't know what the programs are you are speaking about or the period of performance that you are talking about, so I can't respond directly to Okay. You. Thank you. Um, one more last question. And related to how our State has helped our State government by making it more effective and efficient, do you know approximately how many employees the FAA had in 2008? you have any idea? In two th I do not. About four years ago. You, right now there are about 47,000 employees. That's correct. you know how many of those are based in the Washington, D.C. area, or, or is that spread throughout the country pretty uniformly? 
It is spread through, uh, 85 percent of our employees are in the field and outside of our major centers. Okay, great. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Cohen? 